Hi guys, my name is Nicole Spaziri, and I am a nutrition and weight loss coach here in Atlanta, Georgia, and I'm also a master personal trainer and owner of NikkiFitFitness.com, where I offer at-home and in-gym training programs. My at-home training program are all videos. It is a structured calendar, so you know exactly what workout to do each day. All you have to do is click the link, which is fabulous. And then my in-gym training program is a five-day workout split. I also have cardio programs and all sorts of meal plans and recipes and each month I update all of those. So super, super fun. So I say that because I'm here today to talk about maximizing your at-home workouts, especially during the holidays. So during the holiday season, it's crazy, right? So we have events that we have to go to or parties or we have people coming over or maybe we just need to go shopping, right? Since parties might be a little bit different this year than they were in the years past. But still, we are super busy. So it is very, very important to get your workouts in and I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks on how to do that. And then also I'm gonna talk about the number one most important exercise that you can do at home every day. All right, so number one when it comes to maximizing your at-home workouts and being effective with them is create a space. Create a designated space in your house. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. It could be a yoga mat in a corner with a few dumbbells beside it and just know that that is your space to work out. So in saying that as well, scheduling your workout is super huge because we are so busy all the time, or at least during the season especially. So make an appointment with yourself, put it on your calendar, say at 6 a.m. I am gonna work out for 30 minutes in my basement and that is my jam, I'm gonna do it Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, right? Make sure that your schedule that you set for yourself is also realistic. If you are not a person who is a morning person that gets up in the morning, do not say that you're going to get up at 6 a.m. and work out. Say, okay, on my lunch break, maybe you're working from home, on my lunch break, I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna go work out at noon. So be realistic in your goals and the expectations that you set on for yourself because you want to be able to achieve these workouts and achieve these small goals and these small wins and celebrate them versus saying, oh, I'm gonna do all this stuff and then not being able to do it and then feeling defeated, right? So it's all about mindset. We talked about that a little bit earlier in another, another one of our videos working out in the a.m. so if you are a morning person working out in the a.m. is a great thing if you're working at home especially if you have little ones right the little ones get up get up early get it in before they get up because you know once they're awake and they're moving they're going to want your undivided attention also to having a plan if you're going to work out at home have a plan it could be a plan that you got offline it could be watching YouTube videos of your favorite instructor. It could be anything that you want, but having some kind of plan going into your workout, knowing exactly what you want to do. This is another huge one as well, is turn off any distractions. If you have an iWatch, put it on Do Not Disturb. Put your phone on Do Not Disturb or turn your ringer off because you don't want to be getting texts and emails and all these different things when you're really trying to just focus, right? We have a lot of distractions at home and it's different than when we go to the gym. When we go to the gym, that is like our sacred time. We can put our headphones on. We don't have children. We're usually not having to deal with work emails and different things. So just ignore everyone, eliminate distractions. If you do have a significant other, let them know, hey, at six, from 6 a.m. to 6.30, this is my workout time. So please, if the children wake up, can you take care of them, right? So enlist the help of others in that sense. Also do investing in equipment, investing in weight equipment, right? So strength training equipment, invest in some dumbbells, invest in some resistance bands. So many people, when I talk to them, they say, oh, well, I have a treadmill, I just walk every day. If fat loss or body transformation is your goal, strength training is gonna be your number one thing that you should prioritize. And honestly, you can go out and go for a walk or go for a jog, or you could get on your bicycle and go for a ride. So there's different ways that you can get your cardio in. So definitely invest in some kind of weight so when you do get ready to do your workout, you're ready to rock and roll. And the other thing is too, is tracking your workouts, right? So it could be as simple as having a calendar and putting a check mark on the days that you work out. Or if you're someone who really likes um, numbers and Excel, you can make an Excel spreadsheet and you could track all of your workouts and say, I worked out today, I didn't work out today. And the reason for that is, is if we say, we're gonna work out five days a week, and let's say our goal is to lose one pound of body fat a week, we can go back at the end of the week if we have or have not lost weight, we can say, oh, well, I worked out every day this week. Look, my nutrition was on point. That makes sense. Now I can replicate that awesome week over and over and over and keep having success. Now, that being said, let's say maybe you got to the end of the week and you, you didn't see the scale move or you don't feel quite as good as you could have. Well, you can go back and look at your calendar and say, okay, 
did I actually accomplish all the workouts and the things that I wanted to do? All right, so now this is the big one, right? I really wanted to talk about this. This is very important. So the number one exercise that you can do every day at home is the exercise of choice. So the exercise of lifestyle choice. Yes, you got it. So the choices that we make are beyond important. So this is going past the physical, right? So everybody wants to burn fat, build muscle, have energy like a champion, but that's thriving. That is thriving. That is means you have all your ducks in a row and you are nailing it. So let's talk about basic survival. What do we need just on a daily basis that's going to make us an optimal, healthy human? So number one, hydration, H2O, drink water, drink water, cannot stress it enough, right? When we're at home, sometimes it's hard, right? Especially if you're working from home and you're on a computer, it's hard to remember to drink water. So what I encourage you to do is get some form of a large container, and fill it up with water and make it a game with yourself. Say, okay, by noon, I'm gonna drink half of this and by two o'clock, I'm gonna be almost done. Or however you need to slice and dice it in your head. But if you say that you're gonna drink eight of these tiny little water bottles or you're gonna go refill your water bottle throughout the day, most likely it's not gonna happen. If it does, kudos to you. But from my personal experience, it doesn't work that well. So you should aim for anywhere from 80 ounces to 100 ounces of water a day. 80 ounces is a really great place to start. But like I said, get a large water bottle so you can see your progress throughout the day. Also to sleep, right? This is another lifestyle choice, prioritizing your sleep. The average American needs, or an average adult needs seven to eight hours of sleep per night. And we, we need quality sleep. So how can we improve the quality of our sleep? So first off, one, set a bedtime for yourself iPhones have a really new update where you can actually make a bedtime reminder and it will alarm you like, hey, bedtime, right? So just as you have an alarm to wake up, you should have an alarm to go to bed. Now, let's say your bedtime is going to be 10 o'clock and you know that you have to make the coffee for in the morning. You still want to turn the dishwasher on. You need to move the laundry. So you have a few little things that you need to do in your nighttime routine before you can go to bed. Then set your alarm for 930 and say, okay, 9.30, I'm gonna get up, I'm gonna turn the TV off, I'm gonna do what I need to do, I'm gonna lay my clothes out for tomorrow, or take care of the kids, or whatever we need to do, so I can be in bed, lights out, shut down at 10 o'clock. Now, I'm just throwing that number out there. The time you go to bed is definitely gonna, um, goes, um, the time you go to bed is dictated by when you wake up, right? If you don't have to wake up until later, then you can stay up a little bit later, but you're still trying to go for that seven to eight hours of sleep. Also, to investing in blackout curtains, right? Darkening your room, having a dark, cool room is going to help you fall asleep, stay asleep, and get more quality sleep. Moving on. So after sleep, supplements, right? Quality supplements. We got to talk about Airborne, which is a fantastic company. They offer all sorts of amazing vegan, all natural supplements. There's tons out there, but definitely check those out. So having a good quality regimen of supplementation is huge. Most Americans do not get the amount of vitamins and minerals they need on a daily basis. So we are deficient. So my broad view of this is what I tell my clients is you should be taking a multivitamin, a fish oil, a probiotic, vitamin D, because most of us don't get enough sunlight, especially if we're working from home, right? So we're sitting inside all day, vitamin D, and then also to magnesium. So magnesium is responsible for hundreds and hundreds of biochemical reactions in the body. Everything from creating energy to muscle movements, to digestive system. There's so, so many things and it's very, very important. So definitely supplement with that. And then the last thing I really want to touch on too about lifestyle choices, these are all things that you can control to make you a healthier individual. So you can thrive, build muscle, burn fat, and have energy like a champion is rest, restore, and recover, right? So many of us go, 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 we work out, we beat ourselves up. What are you doing to repair yourself? What are you doing to rest? So simple things, meditation, and meditation doesn't have to be a scary thing. It is as simple as sitting down, closing your eyes, taking a moment of silence. Thoughts will come in your mind. It'll say, oh, I've got to go pick the dog up or I need to go to the grocery store. When you have those thoughts, you just let them pass through your mind, acknowledge that they're there. But the whole point is to calm your mind and to really think about nothing. Right. So there's that's one way to meditate. There's definitely many more. Some people have mantras that they say over and over throughout their meditation. That's a really great way to meditate as well. But that's something that you can do to restore, repair and recover. Also to foam rolling. Foam rolling is huge. Rolling around on the floor. So if you don't know what foam rolling is, I highly recommend you go on to YouTube and Googling some stuff. Uh, foam rolling is self massage. It's self myofascial release. So it's 
lengthening the muscle fibers without creating tension. It also is getting blood flow to that area of the body. So if you're sore, you're sending blood flow and nutrients to that area of the body so it can heal. And it's just something that we should work on at all times, especially if you're training and especially if you're sitting down in your tents all the time, giving yourself that self massage, taking care of yourself, keeping your body mobile. Mobility is a whole nother piece in itself, which if anybody ever has any questions on, I'd love to talk to you about. It's about putting our joints in their end range of motion, making sure that the, our joints can forever go in those ranges of motion. So think if you don't use it, you lose it, right? But like I said, that's a whole nother conversation itself. So I'm not really going to dig into that. But, but that's all I got guys. So kind of recapping everything, maximizing at home workouts, create a space for yourself, schedule it, make you number one, make you a priority, make your workouts a priority. That way you can be the best version of you, for not only yourself, but for your family and friends. All right guys, my name is Nicole. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and listening today. I wish you guys the best and happy holidays and I'll see you guys soon.